we're given the graph of a line and asked to determine the slope and vertical intercept. Looking at the graph for a moment, notice how the vertical axis is scaled by tens and the horizontal axis is scaled by fours. Let's first determine the vertical intercept or y-intercept, which is the point where the line crosses the vertical or y-axis. So notice how the line crosses the vertical axis here. The coordinates of this point, or ordered pair for this point, would be 0, 15. So because the vertical intercept is the point 0, 15, this tells us that B equals 15. So we know B equals 15, and now we're going to determine the slope. For any line, the slope is equal to the ratio of the rise to the run, which is also the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change between two points on the line. So let's first find the slope graphically, and then we'll come back and verify the slope using the slope formula, where the vertical change is equal to the change of y. To find the change of y, we find the difference of the y coordinates of two points on the line, and the horizontal change is equal to the change of x, which equals the difference of the x coordinates of two points on the line. So we'll use this point as our first point, and now we need to find a second point that has nice coordinates, meaning the point is right on one of their grid marks on the coordinate plane. Notice how this point here is a little bit off, so it looks like the next point on the right that has nice integer coordinates would be this point here. Notice how the coordinates for this point, or the ordered pair for this point, would be 8, comma, negative 30. Now, if we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, and we can only move vertically and horizontally, notice how we'd have to go down from 15 to negative 30, so we have to go down 45 units, which means the vertical change is negative 45, and then we'd have to go right 8 units, and therefore the horizontal change is positive 8, which means the slope m, which again is equal to the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change, or the ratio of the change of y to the change of x would be negative 45 divided by 8, or negative 45 eighths. Now, if we did want to use the formula to find the slope, to keep things organized, let's label this ordered pair x sub 1, comma, y sub 1, this ordered pair x sub 2, comma, y sub 2. Using the slope formula, notice how we'd have m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 gives us the change of y, that'd be negative 30 minus 15 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which would be 8 minus 0, giving us the same result of negative 45 eighths. Now this question doesn't ask, but now that we know the slope and the vertical intercept, we can easily write the equation for this line in sloped intercept form where the sloped intercept form of a line is the form y equals mx plus b, which means the equation of the given line is y equals m is negative 45 eighths, so we'd have y equals negative 45 eighths x plus b, and therefore we have plus 15. So again, the question doesn't ask, but once we find the vertical intercept and slope, we can easily write the equation of the line in sloped intercept form. I hope you found this helpful.